Museums play a huge part in celebrating Portsmouth's history and are an important part of the city's economy. But despite changing exhibitions and various attempts to keep people visiting, attendance numbers have dropped by around 20% over the past year. Is it a lack of interest or something else? It's happened many times before. Often it can be whatever the exhibition might not be quite so popular. Last year we had less we forget, this year rather, we had less we forget. And less we forget, although it wasn't as popular as others, the reasons are probably that there are so many things going on to celebrate the hundredth year since the war ended that it was rather drowned out. Uh, there can be lots of reasons why visitors are numbered. Visitor numbers in the dockyards have dropped significantly this year. Someone else said it was something to do with there being a general election that visitor numbers to, to museums, a pattern can be traced that visitor numbers to museums actually dip in an election year. And we'll have to wait and see what the rest of the year um, is like. But I'm not unduly worried. I don't see it as anything significant. I think we've had lots of big events in the city this year, which has also refocused people's minds about what they want to do once they're in the city. And I don't have any reservations about the job the staff are doing. is absolutely fantastic. And I think the exhibitions that they put on, some will always attract a larger audience than others. And that's something that we have to live with. Despite the lack of concern, One Portsmouth Museum is being moved to help gain more visitors. The Royal Marines Museum will be going down into the dockyard, which is probably a more fitting place for it to be, and then that building will be used for other purposes. I think it's moving in two years, and it has been thought that it is a bit out on a limb. You have to make a special visit to go to the Royal Marines Museum, whereas coming from the dockyard through to Sassy, you're much more likely to pass the City Museum. Most of the exhibitions attract visitors and sometimes something you might think is popular and something you might put on proves not to be. And so it's really trial and error in a lot of cases. I mean, it's a bit like having plays in a theatre. You might think a play is going to be wonderfully successful, but people might not like it. Or they might be busy that month, or they might not have any money that month, or they might be tempted to go and do something else. We, we have to do the best we can with the resources we can, and as I say, the staff do incredibly well. And we're very pleased with the outcome in all our visitor centres. And the fact that if you, I mean, I'm Hampshire, said all their figures have dropped for the same period of time. So it isn't, if it was just relating to one of our museums and it kept on occurring, then obviously you'd have to take steps to change something you were doing. But that's not the case. The measurement is that lots of museums didn't do well for this period of time, and that's not a standalone. So whatever we weren't doing, they weren't doing it either. With the new season starting, the council are hopeful that the dip is just a blip. April Brown, Solent News Now.